What's up guys? My name is Muhammad Shukri bin Jumaji. My matrix number BP2311-0465. In this video, I want to talk about the feedback and reflection vlog. Part 1. Feedback on PS vlog. The title that I choose is The Benefits of Doing a Variety of Exercises from Group 5. First is, what are your thoughts of the PS vlog? In my opinion, they serves as a source of motivation for viewers looking to enhance their active lifestyle. By highlighting various types of exercises, the vlog not only provides insights into physical workouts, but also underscores the mental health benefits. The main message emphasizes the importance of variety in exercise routines and achieving a balance between body and mind. This vlog inspires viewers to enjoy the fitness process, celebrate every progress, and make exercise an integral part of their daily lifestyle for overall health and well-being. Next, uh, we move to what are the strengths of the PS vlog. The strength of the vlog is encourages an active lifestyle by emphasizing the diverse benefits of exercise for physical and mental health. With clear communication and positive messaging, it provides practical tips for inter integrating exercise into daily life, making it an accessible and uplifting guide for those striving for a healthier lifestyle. The last one for part 1 is what can be improved in the PS vlog. Enhancements for the vlog is improving visuals, integrating fitness expert insights, and adding success stories. Uh, key elements such as interactive features, consistent posting, and audience feedback are crucial. Clear segment, organization, and timestamps aim to enhance navigation while ensuring accessibility through translations. So guys, we move to part 2, which is self-reflection on your group vlog project. My group vlog title is The Variety of Food in Malaysia. The first is, what is the most important thing you learn in this project? The most important thing that I learned in this project is the vlog underscores the significance of food as a social glue. Dialogues with local food vendors also portray the social and economic values within Malaysian foods industry. Overall, this project not only entertains but also promotes cultural harmony and appreciation for the culinary diversity of the country. Next, we move to what do you wish you had spent more time on or done differently? I aspire to explore all the states in Malaysia to savor their unique traditional dishes. From fresh seafood on the east coast to rich spice in the north and ethnic cuisines in Sabah and Sarawak. Each place offers an unforgettable culinary experience. This vlog invites viewers to test the beauty and flavors of Malaysia through its diverse cultural heritage and rich cuisine. Then we move to what was the most enjoyable part of the project. The vlog project that involved searching for Penang Laksa dishes in the Tipar Night Market truly brought an extraordinary experience. One of the most enjoyable aspects was the friendly interaction with market vendors who were enthusiastic about sharing the secrets behind this classic dish. With every step in the market, the excitement thickened, yielding an adventure full of surprises. Next, what was not enjoyable about the project? Despite the overall enjoyable experience, the joy of the venture diminished during a sudden downpour at the Tipar Night Market, adding an unexpected twist to the situation. 
The last one is what are your suggestions to change or improve this project to make it better next time? My suggestions to change or improve this project to make it better next time is preparing for a vlog in advance by carefully planning and scheduling editing wisely. We can ensure that the vlog content is of higher quality and maintains a professional touch. I also need to enhance my communication skills to appear more confident in front of the camera with the hope of creating impactful content. So guys, that's all from me. Thanks for watching.